to Everything Now Show's D&D campaign, The Legend of the Wild City. In this campaign, our players are on the search for a mythical lost city, guided by a mysterious coin-shaped key, which yields visions of the past and of possible destructive futures. Our heroes and their crew are traveling through the Cascade Seas, an ocean frontier ripe for exploration. Sailing on their ship, the Golden Rose, our heroes act through their characters as follows. Skip Jack, is an athletically capable, if dull-witted, elf male whose desire for adventure and heroism is overcome only by his intense but fleeting love for every woman he meets. Nomeo is a self-absorbed B-list movie star whose career has dwindled after the minor success of his films Nomeo 1 and 2. Perhaps he can find new fame from the discoveries that await him on this journey. Marta De Luca is an 85-year-old Italian woman whose husband was brutally murdered by the notorious pirate queen, the Lady Bluff. She has put her search for new love on hold until she can exact a bloody revenge on the woman who took her husband from her. Finally, the dwarf Bromst is a former bodyguard trained to be brutal and violent, but whose heart has pulled him away from his training to search for love and a family he can call his own as long as he doesn't accidentally cut their heads off before they get a chance to really connect. Reinforced by a crew of four, our heroes have already overcome many a trial, but they have a long way to go before they can find the fabled Wild City. Will they make it? 
Or will the omens of destruction come to pass before they can unravel the mysteries of the seas? Find out here on The Legend of the Wild City. Previously on Legend of the Wild City. Our heroes have been invited into the study by Zord to be uh, briefed on our mission. Your main mission will be to assist us in containing the void energy with a contraption that we have made to uh, place over the void. First, we need to do some recon. Uh, Merlin takes out what looks like a very small krill. Now, normally, uh -huh. we would remote control this drone, but the magical radiation uh, emitting from the void makes that impossible. So, the four of you will be piloting it from the inside. But before we shrink you, uh, do you have any questions? Uh, well, Great! Uh, and he snaps his fingers and... Oh, uh, die? <laughs> uh, you guys uh, krill drone around to the side uh, and swim into this, uh, this middle left window. The first thing you observe is these three guards sitting around a small circular table uh, that look to be playing like a card game of some kind. Uh, and as they're playing, uh, you hear one of them say, uh, You know, I heard the uh, the throne room is kind of falling apart from all that void energy. It's uh, it's really doing a number on the, the walls and the roof there. It's some kind of strong hit might just make it collapse, you know? Player one, like, kind of lurches forward and says, uh, Hey, uh, why don't we raise the stakes a little bit? Player one pulls out a, a key, and he says, uh, I may or may not have swiped this from uh, from the security office, and it may or may not be a uh, a key to the back of the throne room. You guys grab the key, make radio contact with your with your team, um, and Merlin comes to uh, to pick you guys up. Uh, well done. You're not dead. I did, however, hear some alarms. I would expect that they will expect an attack soon. So. Uh, we may be at a slight disadvantage because you blew your cover, uh, but did you get enough recon to come up with an attack plan? We're gonna go in through the roof. Apparently it's not built very well. We have this key to the back door. Oh yeah, and we have this key. Ah. Is there any other information mm. that you gained that might be of use to us? Yes, there <laughs> is yes. a princess and she's there. gorgeous. There's a guard named Dean, and we kind of planted the scene that, or the seed that he is haunted, so we could probably capitalize on so that. So we could do something ah. with that. We will take this to our research team and develop some tools to assist you. Uh, and soon enough, we will room. make a plan and attack the palace. And he slams his fist on the table. Welcome, Let's everybody. Go. Let's go. Underwater. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are. Let's Look at your goggles. Are you wet? Are you wet? Oh my God, are he's ready to get wet. I thought I'd spice things up this week. By the way. Oh, oh it was God. so soft. Go put on your wetsuit, Jake. Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. God. Why are you in a... Is that uncomfy or is it a rash guard? Well, I'm underwater. I don't know. It's of keeping course. me warm. I'm sorry. So. Seems extremely yeah, kind of, I don't know what's weird about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sorry. I think it's weird. <laughs> um, welcome, everybody. <laughs> uh, here we are. So uh, we are going to be beginning the uh, kind of final, final few episodes of this arc uh, as we try to solve the mer puzzle, I guess, uh, and rescue our uh, our new mer friends from the void, so that we can our heroes can then escape back to the surface and resume their quest for the ah. wild city um a quick yeah uh did wait did i hear somebody had a question or was that just uh no i said questing okay questing, questing. excellent a quest then. yes we're a questing indeed so uh as you heard in the recap but as i will say again right now uh last time our heroes did some recon on the uh on the palace and we're able to find out a few key things that will hopefully help them uh, in making an attack plan. So the goal is to place a containment vessel around this large magical void, which is the power source for the Mer people. Um, the king has gone mad and is trying to prevent that. And our heroes have discovered that the integrity of the roof is compromised. 
They have a key to a, a back entrance toward the throne room where the void is. Uh, they found out that the king's daughter is being courted. Uh, and, and she's that perhaps she is she's gorgeous. Hot. Absolutely. Yeah. Even show. even for a mer lady. Um, yeah, skip who are notoriously. Um, <laughs> uh, so she's being courted. Uh, and then finally that uh, Dean, one of the guards in the front, is uh, quite convinced that ghosts are real and could be frightened uh, very easily. So I believe that's that's all the data that you gathered. Um, the the okay, guards in the Mer Palace and the King are potentially aware of your infiltration, so that may affect things. Uh, but here we are with that data, and so you are now back in the study, and Zord says, um, all right, well, it's time for us to make an attack plan. Do you have any suggestions just off the top of your head? Oh, I have a question about the key real quick. Um, oh, yeah, is yeah. The key, is the key to the, like, main, like, the building itself, or is the key specifically to the throne room where the void is? Good question. So it, you right? don't... Yeah, so you don't know exactly what the... It's not in the blueprints, so it's kind of a secret entrance. Um, all you know is that it is... It is a key to some kind of back entrance to the throne room. However, you're not sure if it's just like literally a back door on the throne room or if it's a, a door to another room that connects to it uh, or some variation thereof. But it is, it is safe to presume that most people don't know about it. Okay. And that it, that it, would, it would certainly not be populated with guards if you were to, to take that route. Oh. A any other questions on the data you've acquired? I'm ready. Sorry, Are we, okay. So we're big. We're big again, right? We're big. We're yes, massive. Big. You have uh, yeah, bigger than weird. before. Am I slight? I feel Are like I'm slightly bigger. Minutes? I feel like I got a little bit too too much bigger than I was when I started. Get some of this away. Well, uh, Marta, you minutes. certainly don't need to think that about yourself. It's uh, you're beautiful the way you are. I promise you. Oh wow! Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. Keep it in your pants, okay? Uh, right. I I don't have pants. Uh, I am a mer person, but noted. I so anyway, <laughs> if you have all good, we're fine. Uh, let's get back to the mission. Uh, if you have suggestions, I'm open to them. Again, we can make oh. any kind of gadget that you want. Yes, Bromst. I know you can't wear pants, but like a skirt could probably be the same thing as pants, but for mer people. Ooh, Ooh yeah, yes. that's a good idea. Just Great idea. Know. Just off the top of my Accurate. I, uh, like a, can I have a gun? Like a mer kilt. Oh, I want a gun. Can I also I have, have a gun? Two. I we mean, got four guns. We can, we can make guns uh, that seems a little bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, brash or uh kind of a, a broad stroke oh, it's I, you know, my name's I'm a, right uh well i i meant sort of as a an infiltration plan if we're trying to do this in perhaps a mildly stealthy manner that uh guns are a a very brutish uh way to go mm. about it but if, maybe, if like you want guns, maybe like a silencer maybe like a silencer quiet or a gun Quiet, quiet gun, gun is a great a idea. Gun? How do the guns work underwater? It answers How does the that... question. It answers the question: What if a gun could be quiet? Mm. I ask myself that all the time. I'm pretty sure that question was already answered. Uh, but yeah, uh, for the guns, we're just gonna say that uh, <laughs> somewhat lazily <laughs> that uh, they are enchanted and will function relatively the same underwater. So we're just not gonna worry about that. Well, ocean physics. <laughs> yeah. How about an enchanted silencer? An enchanted silencer. With that, now are you envisioning some kind of ancillary function on top of the silencing because it is enchanted? Or just kind mm. of like an aesthetic glow of enchantment? Well, I guess if it glows, that would be bad because we, we don't want anything to draw attention to us. So it probably we would... 
We would want Good it to point. be. If anything, we would want these guns to be invisible, probably. Mm, can you Another do that great idea. So, although a, we I need to be able to see them. I have a oh, question. So we don't lose so, them. Yes, if skip. we have a key to the if we have a key to the back door and we're trying to destabilize a ball of energy, what if we had a giant pool cue like that we could just mm. corner pop a ball of energy into? Because we don't need to break down the back door. We have a key. Hmm. This is a good point. Well, I I would like to highlight that uh, the the plan as of now or. Our researcher's plan was to put a containment vessel around mm. the void, which is too big to fit through a door. However, I, I certainly think that's a creative idea. Perhaps you could take the void to the containment vessel. I, it's just a thought. Just or a thought. Or we could just blow apparently. the roof off the place and then just, like a bird cage, drop a bird cage like a bird cage over the ball of energy. Is this like, like a, a weird deal where you guys are trying to harness in, this energy and like kind of reuse it for your own gain? <laughs> like this seems yeah, like it's, it's becoming a thing that's like you kind of want this energy to be Why like we well, contained yeah. into a box that you can access at any point when you want to. I have made at, I want to make this perfectly clear that at no point have I hid that fact uh, this was, in uh, fact, our energy source mm, before uh, uh, mm. our previous containment vessel broke. Mm -hmm. And so... And what did you use before? Uh, uh, well, it, it lit our streets and uh, allowed us to perform magical tasks of all no, sorts. No, no, what containment vessel did you use before? Oh, uh, it was sort of a... Uh, you know, it was made thousands of years ago by our ancestors, so none of us really understand it. But it was sort of a gold, a gold ring that that contained this black center uh, and channeled mm. its magical energy into a usable form. Do you think that would be like the ring? main, the main Don't we like? Have a gold ring? Do we? Do, we might. Still. Do you have a gold ring? We might. I check your pockets, everyone. Mm. Um. Alexander, mm -hmm. uh, who is standing in the back of the room, uh, says, um, actually, uh, do you mean this, Skip? God, and he not puts, this guy again. <laughs> he puts the coin the and, uh, Crispy. well, uh, we've, I mean, we've been letting you kind of take the lead, yes, but, uh, I'm here, I'm and, uh, here. this was our coin, that, and he slides the, the kind of, the key that you guys got from the Lady Bluff uh, and the very first episode. Um, and he slides it across the table and Zord looks at it and says, my God, that is a, an almost perfect scale replica of exactly what we had. No You're way. welcome. Relief. Yes, this is, I mean, this is astounding. And he, he calls over some of, uh, he calls in some researchers who, who come in and like examine it and they all, they kind of like, you know, talk amongst themselves uh, and then come to the consensus that, that whatever the outer gold ring of the coin that you guys have is, is in fact mm. exactly the same like That's magical it. technology. Uh, mm. that, can, I do like a, can I do like a vibe check? I know we're not playing <laughs> okay. normal D and D anymore, but like no, can sure, I just yeah, do yeah. A general vibe check. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? What? I mean, what are you kind of like trying to decipher? I think Skip's like, are these guys evil? Are we helping the bad guy? Mm. Um, okay. Can we do a huddle? <laughs> can we huddle real quick? <laughs> yeah. The group good. huddle. Can I? Can I vibe check first? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, roll. Uh, do you want me to roll? Yeah, roll a d6 with good odds. Okay. Um, I got a so four. anything but a one or two. Okay, yeah. Oh, right. Uh, they're not bad. They're not cool. bad. The, oh, these man. are the good guys. And mm. Skip, Skip in his infinite stupidity, he's just looking at everyone. Yeah, like you're, just like, you're just like, you're just like. He's not. Can I get a vibe me. check? He's just looking at everyone real close. <laughs> Like my vibe was, call. Skip, my vibe was all right until you started doing yeah. this, and now I'm kind of weirded and out. Now I'm a little uncomfortable. Marta, I'm concentrating. I have to figure out if these guys are evil. Oh, you need a bathroom. Oh. Looks like you need a bathroom. Okay. Uh, I just yeah, no, sure they're, they're definitely the good guys. Knowingly helping bad guys. Okay. 
So, what did we decide we're gonna get? Guns? <laughs> <laughs> Invisible quiet guns. Yes. We can, we can so make you invisible guns, but we also kind of need a, a more overarching plan here. Got to, it. Right. Oh, wait, no yeah. More silly ideas. There's no do, you, more do you guys more have another... Idea. Do you guys have another containment vessel prepared for when we, when we get this thing? Uh, we have our, our current containment vessel prepared, Al although I must admit, with this development of your, your coin here, um, I have just set our researchers on the task of making uh, a new a, a new containment vessel, like our old one, based off of this magical tech. It seems kind of uh, like your like, old one was, um, uh, fuck. Bad. Yes, that's another good word. Well, I, you know, it's good that you bring that up. It lasted thousands of years uh, and we were all mm. quite shocked when it broke um, and mm. he he gives you a time frame I mean I I don't know exactly how long you guys have been on this journey but he gives you a time frame that the 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 kind of containment cracked uh, at about the same time that you, that the first episode happened where you guys were in the bar and uh, mm -hmm. and like that everyone lightning storm like, and all the weird stuff happened. Everyone had like visions. Relevant. Do you have a maintenance guy? Can we talk to your maintenance guy? Oh, he knows who was in charge of the cube they or the ring or whatever the thing was. Mm, yes, maybe a janitor uh, of sorts. Uh, sure. And he uh, he presses on a he, he waves in a, a maintenance guy uh, and a, a young a young mer lady comes in uh, and she says um maintenance uh, lady. Lady, oh, yes, sorry. Hello. Uh, I, I um, just skip Im immediately hello? in love. Hi. Uh, you look like uh, you work very hard, don't you? I I do, in fact, yes. Um, but usually people don't find maintenance attractive, but that's quite refreshing. Um, my name is... Uh, I'm not picky. My name is uh, Constable. Uh, and mm. uh, mm. yeah, I... I was a, an apprentice to, uh, to to the magical maintenance crew, if you will. I, I mean, yeah. what do you want to know? I, it cracked quite recently in a in a somewhat astounding fashion. It was quite unprecedented. Hmm. I, it just seemed to the, the void just seemed to overpower it almost. Hmm. So how do we make a more powerful version of that one? That's the question on everybody's minds, and I'm also, sure you know the Also, answer. was there anything, like, peculiar that you noticed about the energy that, like, you know, did you ever have to calm it down or, like, do things to make, like, the thing stop shaking once in a while? Or, like, was there anything weird you noticed about the energy at points in time that we should know no, about? No, you know, a good question. It was... I, it, we have no record of instability for the thousands of years our civilization has existed until uh, until this thing one night just the void started kind of vibrating violently and and mm. over the course of about a day uh, the containment vessel cracked and near disintegrated and then magical energy just started radiating out and messing everything up Mm. Making people insane, particularly uh, the king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it leaked. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of viscous. Could you inhale it if you wanted? Well, to? You said leaking. Was Is it, it more like a of an smoky? Imbibe? Is it a smoky vapor type thing? You know, it. I suppose it has a, a vapor type quality to it. I don't think anybody tried to inhale it although it's a good theory that perhaps that could be one of the reasons uh those who are living in the palace are so uh mm. so crazy at the moment they maybe they are inhaling magical dark vapors i i didn't think hear about me it out. that hear way. me out team hear me out mm -hmm. team. i could be the thing. vessel <laughs> Until we get it into the new thing, I could, I could, it could be in, I could inhale it. Mm. You know, I, you know, I'm good at inhaling things. And, and you I know, I've always, my, I've always looked at you and I've thought, what a vessel. That's just the first <laughs> adjective that came to my mind, comes to my mind every mm -hmm. time I gaze upon you. Mm -hmm. Vessel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certainly a vessel type person. 
And I don't so mean to interrupt, but are you somebody who we can talk to about making some invisible guns? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yeah, I, I work on that team as well now. Uh, you know, we could. That's certainly a thing. Uh, invisible guns would be useful for for getting you guys in. Uh, again, I don't know how that would help get the void into the containment vessel, but that that's one part of the equation. Sure. Listen, well, they'd be I, very quiet we, okay. too. What if we use the giant pool cue and we shoot it outside, and then you're waiting outside with the pocket, so to speak, like through the door, and then it's you know eight ball corner pocket. I think. I think. Hmm. Think, and I'm imagining a, a like a I like think. a super hookah that we can that I can inhale the. I feel like we're on a lot of different pages here. It's really hard to know like yeah, how we're how we're gonna unite deep. over this because we're pretty certainly. Uh, if if I may, uh, and Zord kind of steps forward to just kind of summarize all our all our little uh, metaphorical post-it note plans here. Uh, we've had a suggestion of very quiet invisible guns. Which uh, I think Still is great, great, great for getting you in, and that is a key part of the plan. You will need to be in there in some capacity to to manipulate the void into the containment vessel. So, mm -hmm. uh, good start. Uh, a Can giant we hacky sack it. <laughs> like, what if we yeah, all have let's... magic shoes and we hacky sack it around? <laughs> so, we... oh, that's okay. You say we have to manipulate so let's establish it I think the me and the boy around if, this. Go ahead, what go if ahead. we use the technology that you use to make us very small to make us extremely big, and then we have humongous feet that we can use to hacky sack the void? Amazing. So, yes. And also, Certainly we would be possible. like stronger probably because it'd be so big, so it'd be easier to fight the bad guys. And I've we have huge invisible guns that are very quiet. <laughs> Keep those small. Okay. We're big. Small. So, if I might create a theme around this kind of concept, uh, At your we leisure. could use a pool cue or giant shoes on your giant feet to move the void by yeah. creative means outside of the palace into the containment vessel. I like this. Guys, uh, I have We've a never... There's, a, there's a problem with this. Obviously, there's what? not yeah. a cobbler in the Mer village to make giant shoes oh. for us because there's no feet. They don't have feet. How is this? No, no, we were so know. stupid. This Damn is is good. It, we were so close to finding an airtight hacky sack plan. It was almost really perfect. Um, we, we do play a version of hacky sack with our fins, so it's not a completely out there concept. Uh, and in my travels, I've, I've heard of this hacky sack. Uh, the the one issue that I see You're is we've never art we've never actually enlarged anybody, and so I, mm. I cannot guarantee. What do you mean? You just that enlarged us a effect. few minutes ago when we were tiny. He's got well, a good point. It's like to normal size. Untinied us. They like untinied us. Yes. So uh, just use exactly. the untiny like ray on normal size us. Uh, we can try. There's just no telling what could happen. It seems uh, like you're trying to leave I don't know about you guys, but I'm bound to try it. All right, Nomeo's, you go first. <laughs> Is that, hold on. Okay, before we take <laughs> serious action here, let, let's lock down the plan, because you guys are our forward operating team. Yes, I want a hookah. But, uh, okay. I want to so be huge if, and have a big, invisible, tiny gun. Why don't the four of you wait? Quiet, gun, to sorry. Me? It's not big. It's quiet. Right. Why don't the four of you communicate to me exactly <laughs> what you want, and we will make it happen? Let's go step by All step right, let's here. Go first. Let's go step by step. Let's let's play it out real quick. Okay, so we have okay. a key to the back of the palace throne room, so we can Nomeo, just walk in. At least Nomeo is big. At least Nomeo, out, out of all of us, is giant, and everyone else may, we or hope. may not. We don't yeah, know we if hope. that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> it has right. a success rate. But but in this okay. in this in this walkthrough, you're big. Yes. Okay. Giant so Nomeo's Nomeo. leading the charge. He's leading the charge with his his very quiet gun. His quiet big gun. 
<laughs> That's invisible. I could be like a distraction, maybe. Like I go in the front Ooh. door, I'm big. Ooh. I got this invisible quiet gun. I'm shooting guys. Knocking. I'm humongous. I guess if I'm giant, you the should gun go to the front. Quiet should... probably doesn't matter quite as much, <laughs> but I do still want it to be invisible and quiet. If that's an they option. might think you're a cursed creature of sorts if you just are walking around and you point and then a person dies and blood leaks out of them. That's so cool. They might yeah. Think that you're a, a demonic creature, which is our advantage because everyone will. Which go I to do the remember front. Dean being afraid of. There, yes, yes there is okay. someone afraid of ghosts. There's um, also nothing scarier more... than a giant man saying, "Have you seen my movie?" over and over again. So. Well, a giant, a giant <laughs> gnome. So would Nomeo only be like ten feet tall? Because he's a gnome, and he's well, only four feet tall now. Depends on how if he gets big at all. That's true. This, 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 this is riding him. Like, this is riding him. Melt lot. his lower half off or something. Um. So it's Nomeo in the front. I'm willing to take. Nomi on the front, in the front distracting. We sneak around to the back, and then Skipjack starts hacky sacking. Yeah. Hacky sacking that energy into my hookah. <laughs> if I recall, Even more right. happy, do you want us to get? It, I'm sorry. Do you want us to get it out of this palace, or do you just want us to put something on it? It just needs to be contained. Well, uh, listen. If it is contained, our understanding is that everybody who is going crazy from the radiation will cease to be crazy, and then right. we as people can kind of figure out what to do from there. I'm not expecting uh, you to, to rebuild our society. We just need to not have this ra radiation happening. So if you need to get it out to do that, that's fine. You know, I've heard myth and tale of... Um, a magical alternate universe where a man named Ketchum walks around and catches beasts roaming the fields in a ball. <laughs> Perhaps we could create one of these balls that opens up, is red on the top, white on the bottom. A beast ball. A beast ball, and perhaps we could catch the energy and we could catch it all. Very mm. interesting. And catch it's very ball. quiet. <laughs> And invisible. Yes. And shoots bullets. <laughs> <laughs> now, does the bullet shooting happen before or after the containment part? Any that's time. not super Is important. It, it could be whenever. <laughs> more just like a like a fun kind of addition. Surprise. Yeah, I'm not thinking. Okay. Um, Skipjack's gonna Skipjack's gonna go and whisper to Zord and just be like, just let him have this. Just let him let him have this, please. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, I, I think yes. Think look, he needs to win. <laughs> guys, we haven't heard from Bromst about what he wants to be to have made for him. Yeah, Bromst, what do you want magically made? Uh of great ideas that could possibly save us all. Big Jar came to mind. Whoa. Um, Big Jar? Whoa. But, yeah. um, three words that have been on my mind. Um, I wanted to stop all this silly business about talking about crazy, ridiculous ideas. But three words. Red Dot Sight. I think that's what's been missing from our conversation. Mm. You can be invisible, red. they can be tiny, they can be whatever, but we need a big red laser that can tell us what we're aiming at. Mm. That's good, because if it's invisible, that it's gonna be hard to sense. aim it. Ex that's why. I, that's what's it. Yeah, that's you're not gonna know what you're pointing at. True. It's certainly, the an intimidation factor say. there as well. I like big jar. Right on, you're, you're just, yeah, exactly. You're gonna scare the shit out of them. Um, and yes, big jar. Come on. I mean, I like this poking ball that we're talking about, but uh, I don't know. Massive jar always does the trick for me. Big spider. Maybe big we jar. can test. The enlargement ray on a normal size jar first. Ooh. See if it gets mm -hmm. big, and then if that works out, then we try it on your boy. It's a logical next step. We could try it on okay. a fish that's a living organism, and then we could have giant fish floating. Big that's fish. Interesting too. Is that we mean can... to you, Mr. Merman, or like do you um, not care about fish? It's a gray area. We, mm -hmm. you know. 
I am not super proud of this, but uh, we have tested on fish before, so oh. there's uh, fish we're not particularly fond of. Uh, barracudas, mm. for one, we could, you know. This seems like it's, it's getting a into area. a weird thing where it's like ignorance is bliss for us. It, we don't really want to know your political dealings and what types know. of fish you don't like and back. stuff like that. Yeah. We have a lot to deal with on the surface there. already. We're just visitors. Totally. I understand. Uh, yeah, I mean, we can certainly test that if you'd like. Let's is, all right. we, we, I'm thinking all right. we we test out the enlargement ray on a fish in a jar. We see if we can get our big jar. We get the tech team working on very quiet, invisible guns with red dot sights. Um, also a big Q, uh, pool Q. Or does it have to be big, Skipjack? Or can it be a regular size? Well, cool I've scrapped. I've scrapped that plan as brilliant as it was, um, in favor of a smaller kind of clamshell device that might um, encapsulate. Ah, right, the beast ball. The, beast ball. The beast ball. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So we get the beast ball, and then Marta, do do we need the tech team to work on uh, the hookah, or can it just be like a normal? Do you guys have hookah down here? Is there a smoke shop? What, what is around? the purpose of the hookah? <laughs> I is that? How does that aid? That's the so Marta That's can smoke. Uh, I, at boy. this point, I think the beast ball is the best for the containment, maybe. And then, um, if I if I could just have like a cool vape. Um, Okay. Does it not really just so I can have a thing? Because I had my plan, but it kind of like got usurped. So I just, just like kind like of like a, cool, a personal victory. Yeah, if I could just get like a cool vape or like a, you know something I can just inhale, would be okay. Great. Uh, but that should Ideal. be easy enough. All right, so let me recap. Uh, we have uh, very quiet, invisible guns. We have a uh, with a, a red dot ball. Side. With a red thank dot you. sight, yes, thank you, laser sight. Uh, we have a beast ball, which uh, would would probably we'd probably modify our containment vessel to to serve this purpose. Uh, we have a a purely aesthetic and personal expression item of a hookah or vape. Uh, and am mm -hmm. I missing anything? Mm -hmm. uh, are we still? I think it's oh, a airtight. We're going to test our enlargement ray. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Let's get uh, Let's start with an enlargement ray test, shall we? Um, I like it. And you guys, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if we have a background for this, but uh, you guys travel outside of the base to, uh, to just like a, an underwater area uh, where a, uh, <clears throat> a, an unsuspecting fish is swimming by and is captured by Zord and his his compatriots. Uh, he then brings out the the shrink ray, <clears throat> which has been like reverse engineered in a in a certain way, and he says, uh, "All right, well, since this is your idea, I'm going to go ahead and give this to one of you. The way this will work is uh, you will hold down the button to enlarge this thing." Uh, and it's very important that uh, it, it may get wily, this beam. So it's important that you can all hold the beam steady on the creature. And uh, how long you hold it is completely up to you. There could be a point where uh, the fish might explode if it gets too big. So I'm, we're going to go ahead and let you try this out. Uh, so how this technically is going to work is uh, if one of you wants to be in charge of like holding down the button and then uh, three other people are going to be making simultaneous rolls to kind of hold it steady. Uh, okay. And then I'll give you updates as to the increasing size and state of this fish. Okay. What do you want us to roll? Uh, everybody grab a D6. And actually, excuse me, grab a D4. Grab a D4, uh -oh. and um, we're going to roll a D4 with good odds, and then one of you is just going to be the person in charge of, like, deciding how long the button holds. Okay. 
So no, Leo, I feel uh, like since can, this will be yeah. going on you, maybe you should decide. I'll be a button guy. No, Mio seems like a button guy. Yes. <clears throat> um, okay. I, everyone knows I handled the button really well last time, so this should be. <laughs> if we could, re if we recall, uh, Zord and his compatriots uh, set up this fish in a, uh, a like a. It, it's just a, attached in a humane way, uh, attached at the fin, like kind of anchored to the ground so that it stays in place. Uh, it is as of yet unharmed. Uh, and Zord and his his crew kind of back up, and they all uh, put their protective goggles on, uh, and they back away and say, um, "Okay, whenever you're ready." Nomio, you're the button guy. Do we get all right, first? and here I go. I'm gonna press the button now. Okay, uh, Skip, Marta, and Bromps make a D4 roll with good odds for me. I got a three. So don't hit a one. I got a three. Okay. Marta? Oh. A three. All right. Yeah. Uh, you hold it perfectly steady, and the fish grows uh, kind of one order of magnitude, almost doubles in size. <laughs> nice. uh, and Zord and everybody is, like, it's on the working. side, kind of. Great. Uh, <laughs> Nomeo, are you still holding the button? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, make another roll. Another roll? Yep. I got two. Three. Oh. That's a four. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Excellent. Still holding it perfectly steady. The fish uh, <laughs> grows yet again. Doubles in size. <laughs> is, now close to, uh, is now close to the size of Nomeo himself. Whoa. Uh, That's a big fish. Zord. <laughs> We're good still. Would you right, like I'm to keep going? Keep, I would like to keep holding the button. Okay. I got two. Uh, I got a one. I got oh, a no. one. Okay. Oh no! Hey, hey. Uh, the beam starts to shift toward uh, the front of the fish, and uh, it's like nose and eyes start to grow a little bit disproportionately to oh, the rest no. of its body. Uh, and Zord kind of like, so sorry, sir. Um, less, less encouraging. <laughs> I think we could be getting to a dangerous point here. Nomeo? Let's go one more. <laughs> oh, okay. Me. Rolling. I got a one. Uh, I got a four. Got a four. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, the beam then shifts, like sways all the way the other direction to the tail, uh, and the fish grows yet another order of magnitude to be perhaps <laughs> bigger than all three of you. Uh, however, as it swings the other direction, the beam mm. uh, like holds on the tail, and the tail grows very quickly and uh, just kind of pops. <laughs> oh shit. And uh, Zord and everybody is just kind of takes cover, like, oh, I, I think probably good to stop now. Uh, but it is continuing yeah, uh, to grow. Is skip the fish Jack, still alive? Ask, yeah, is the skip. The, the fish, fish is still, still alive? alive. Help me. I was gonna skip Jack, <laughs> ask him how he's doing. It talks? Friend. Skip Jack oh, can talk to fish. I, I can talk to fish. I can talk to fish. Friend. Uh, okay. How are you? <laughs> whoa, 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 uh, ow, damn it. What, oh. I don't understand what's happening. This is cool, but also you? kind of painful. Uh, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I think I'm okay, but I, I don't feel like I can move very far. Uh, Do you is feel my, more hey, powerful? can you guys tell me? I can't feel my tail. Is my tail there? Mm. It um, looks I'm great. Worried it, about is. it is, and it's it is? so... Gorgeous. Oh, oh, um, oh thank and you. Then, and, then, and then, and then, and then, Skipjack's gonna, Skipjack's gonna turn to the rest of the group who can't speak to animals, and he's gonna say, in like English, so the fish doesn't understand him. He's gonna say, "We have to kill this thing." 
He wants death. He wants the sweet release. We have to put this. We have to put it out of its misery. It's, it's, it's so great. Like, make, it so make it bigger. Make it bigger. I think one more good size blast with the with the enlargement that rack, please. Or okay. <laughs> cool at least. You're and then you Skip's can... gonna turn back to the fish and he's gonna say, "Um, you're doing awesome." <laughs> Oh, thank you. I'm so glad my tail is still there. I don't know what I'd do without it. Uh, you know, yeah. I'd be literally dead in the water. <laughs> You'd probably, yeah. <laughs> thing is You'd, fun. <laughs> you, well, hang on to your fins. <laughs> and then, okay. Uh, I rolled a two. Okay. One. <clears throat> what was that? Three. Oh, sick. Okay. Uh, you, um, <clears throat> you hold the button one more time, and the fish grows even bigger, and he's, he's kind of loving this, uh, unaware of his lack of tail now. Uh, and he starts to, like, <laughs> giggle like a fish would, uh, however that is. Can we hear that? Uh, God, he's giggling like <laughs> a fish. <laughs> you, you hear, like, a kind of blub, blub, blub. Uh, Skip, you hear, like, a, <laughs> I feel he's so laughing. wonderful. He loves I feel so, <laughs> and the fish just explodes everywhere, uh, oh, and pieces of it cover the skipjack. The how's he feeling? Um, he he's not actually answering me anymore. I, it's the weirdest thing. Hmm. Well, he seemed um, into it up until he stopped answering. Yeah, he he was having a good time. He was in some minor pain. Um, he was really. He, I I didn't tell him about the tail. It just seemed too cruel. Uh, mm. But now he's uh, now he's gone. All right. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> what I feel like we've learned from this is that we can safely do three enlargements, no problem. Uh, and also, is there any way we can maybe just like fasten this device to the wall or something so that we don't have to have these three people holding it? Oh, there's an Cause that seemed to be the main issue is that we were like holding it and and kind of like it was Struggling. loose. But if we maybe just like built a some sort I mean, of I'm harness, strong. I'm strong. Like that, they threw me for a rodeo loop. Right, but, um, mm -hmm. Yes, I, I think that's a wonderful point. In fact, I, I feel somewhat personally responsible uh, for that oversight and all the kind of scientists hey, and engineers. Hey, don't worry. Hey, look, we're all learning here. None of us are engineers, right? Are any Learning of us engineers? Curve. No. The, the, the mer scientists and researchers. I'm surprised there was no blood. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there's fish work. guts all over the place. Oh. I see a little blood. I see I a little bit of blood. blood. I'm trying to make the blood. Oh. I'm surprised there was no blood. <laughs> Oh. What a delay! Just spraying. There is a little. As you right say there. that, you just kind of get like a spritz across your face. <laughs> mm. I'll never understand how um. physics. All right. Perfect. So cool. Well, that we have a reasonable well. enlargement Skip size. Gonna, I say Skip Jack's gonna. Skip like, Jack's gonna go up to the fish and just like cut off a piece and just be like, "What sashimi?" And like just start munching on it. Like you we haven't eaten anything. To that. You just talked to we that thing. So I talked to your friend. Talk to men. I talked to men and I kill them all the time. My eat dark. them though. <laughs> I mean, do you eat them? Say lovey. No. <laughs> no. I would never. All right. So who else wants to be big? Munching. Not me. I mean, no me. Oh, this all, is your. That's all you. All this right, suit yours. yourselves. If it's right, stabilized, I, I would like. I gun now, and I'm feeling ready to go. Perfect. Okay. If it's stabilized, I would like the option to maybe add some volume to my hair, or perhaps uh, larger pectorals. If you could just quantify it uh, to one point of the body, but if not, that's fine. We'll just we'll just do Nomeo as a whole. You know what, Skip? Uh, I'll have my people work on that, and maybe, Thank you. maybe once this is all over, we'll be we'll have it figured out enough to give you a sort of spritz of enlargement 
Thank uh, you. But for now, I think let's let's stick to the mission. Perfect. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Are you guys, are you uh, guys ready? And then any any news about my? Uh, oh, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Thanks. Thanks, Mer um, scientists. Merlin, the young Merlad who you guys initially met, uh, sees you do this and is like, "Oh, wow, that's um, that's pretty dope, Marta." Thanks, got, Merlad. Like Marta, cool. do some O's. Can you do some O's? Like Marta. Do you know yeah, any tricks? Whoa! <laughs> you see, like a lot, a like a Skip large Jack's group like... of young mer people, just like, whoa! I want to do that. You're being a bad influence, I think. Here, try it, kids. Was this is this what is, was this drugs? Was this what you were talking about last time? The drugs no. thing? Oh no, uh, this isn't a real drug. It's just a vape. Horrible. Okay. Stay above. <laughs> stay above the influence. All right. So, uh, okay. So, do you guys have a? Are, are we? Uh, we got an attack plan here. You guys know what you want to do. <laughs> yeah, we're an hour well, out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, uh, uh, we've got something. I think we're ready. Well, uh, I'm well, ready to get big. Point. If my gun is ready, I'm ready. So that's all. That's all I'm waiting for is to just let's let's enlarge me and give me my gun, and then I'm all set personally. Okay, Zorda, quote, you all go to back quote, to the... Jake. Let's go. <laughs> you uh, you all go back to the briefing room for a brief for a, a short moment to get all your gear. Uh, Zord lays out uh, four invisible, very quiet laser sighted guns for you. Uh, he then uh, lays out uh, the containment vessel, which has been shrunk and has an addition to hopefully be able to uh, contain the void in a small space when you uh, throw it at it. Uh, though he does add, um, there is no guarantee it will work on the first try. Uh, and it, it may take a few tries to, to contain all of the energy. Uh, so, is there any way to no know, guarantees there? Is there any way to know? Like, will it like shake and then like open back up if we don't get it the first time? Or? Yes, that oh. is actually exactly what we expect to happen. Uh, Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you may, you know, fun that, music. <laughs> you may have to exhort some kind of uh, s some amount of force of will through either magical mm. or physical means to to try and contain the vibrations. Of the Physical. magical energy. Skipjack uh, just yes. flexing unconsciously. <laughs> Something I would assume you'll be quite good at, Skip. Oh, yes, uh, of course. And then, uh, and he says, uh, and finally, uh, I, I would suggest that we enlarge Nomeo, uh, our right, you're the person that's going to be enlarged, uh, closer to the actual site, uh, so as to not arouse too much suspicion. Um, and uh, with that, I I think we are ready to go. Did we go. figure out that like um, harness thing to steady the enlargement beam? Yeah, yeah. They they developed a like a like a tripod a, for it. A belt. <laughs> okay, perfect. That's great. And we got the invisible guns. Yes. They're right oh, there. Fuck yeah, let's do this, baby. I'm ready. All right. Actually, let's I have go. to pee really quick before we leave. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you can just go oh, in the sure. water. I've just I'm been going this whole time. I've been doing it this whole time. Just this is our home. Like nonstop, you know, just it's... going. Well, where do you pee? Bathroom? How does a mer bathroom well, work? Outside. Where it can we did almost the get killed. take it. We did almost public? get killed in a palatial toilet. A uh, palatial restroom last time, so I, I guess they do use toilets canonically. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is, so no that is pants, true. No mer underwear, no mer whitey tidies. No mer whitey tidies, just all natural. We're just you... we're just mer is what yeah. we are. <laughs> I could get down with this like mer lifestyle, you know, no like take. Too. Take part as the locals right, do in this. the mer. Thank you, Nomeo, Perfect. for 
going outside of my home. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, with I'm that, <laughs> you guys are dispatched to the palace. Um, okay, so what is your positioning here? Where do you where do you guys? Uh, um, wh what's your physical infiltration plan? Right. <laughs> Skip's gonna. I think you guys Skip's... drop me off at the front door, and yeah. I just are, go and are you big gun. yet? Yeah, We're gonna make me still? big here. Okay. 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 Maybe a little farther away so they don't see you getting big. Yeah, we're just we're just out of out of eyesight from the front door. Cool. And he dropped me Perfect. off, and we'll make me big, and I'll go in quiet, guns a blazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Nomeo is just out of sight of the front door. Uh, are you guys uh, gonna take that that secret back entrance? Yeah, I think Skip's mm -hmm. gonna, um, you know, like do Mission Impossible music in his head and like do a bunch of unnecessary rolls and like uh, like somersaults and cartwheels and like backflips just to get to the back door. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, sorry, my brain went somewhere for a second. Um, <clears throat> All right, great. So you guys are at the back door, uh, or like you, you guys are just out of sight of the back of that kind of top throne room, which is the circle at the top there. Uh, and Nomeo mm -hmm. is at the front. I'm just going to roll a dice to see who we start with. Uh, all right, okay. we're going to start with the three in the back entrance. So okay. you guys uh, are kind of like hiding behind a rock, uh, the three of you. And you see uh, that the... <laughs> Marta is vaping. Uh, you see a, yeah. a, a small kind of like, it's it's almost not a door, but it's a hatch. Uh, because hmm. the, the back of this uh, palace has like a large cylindrical uh, kind of tower-like pillar. Uh, and you know that the throne room is at the top of this pillar. And so you see a small hatch at the, the bottom of it. Um, and just as you are about to go uh, try to infiltrate this hatch. You see the the princess and her uh, her suitor um, laughing and giggling, and they enter the hatch first. Uh, and as mm -hmm. they do, you hear the princess say, "Almost nobody knows about this spot. I'm sure that we'll be undisturbed here." <laughs> and then they oh, no. they swim into the hatch. <laughs> Skip is like. Skip is so torn as to what to do. <laughs> he wants to immediately interrupt them, but Are then he's like, that's not here? part of the plan. We have to if if I'm going to have a chance with her. Sometimes oh, it's necessary. That's what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry, the plan. Stick to the plan. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, you have like a little magical radio with you, and you hear over the radio uh, Zord say, uh, uh, infiltration team, uh, is everything okay? Uh, we're waiting for you to go into the palace. Right. You're waiting, Our... you're waiting for us? I thought we were waiting well, for a distraction. Big Nomeo. Oh, right, okay. Oh, Do yes. Wanna... Let's make it okay. big. Yes, big all right, Nomeo. so we warp over, we'll warp over to the front, and, uh, Nomeo Merlin is with you, <laughs> and he says, uh, all right, Nomeo, here we go, uh, stand still. And he goes ahead and hits the button. And uh, how you want to go triple big, full like like a full fifteen to twenty feet? Should I be holding my invisible gun so they get big with me? Uh, yeah, anything that you have on you will equally size. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go triple big. All right, triple, triple big. And he smashes the button. And uh, it's nice and stable, and you feel every part of you just start to grow uh, until you are quite large, uh, large enough that your previously concealed position is now quite visible to the guards at the front. And uh, you hear some of them go, what the f- what? what is that? I've never seen a- guards, guards! And uh, <laughs> some commotion begins to start at the front. Uh, it looks like they're gonna try to move towards you to uh, to attack you, Nomeo. Do you want to take any uh, initial action before that happens? 
Uh, I just kind of <laughs> wave and I'm like, hey, everybody. <laughs> Have you seen my movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most terrifying thing he could say. <laughs> and uh, about, we'll say like six guards uh, all kind of swim out towards you, uh, and roll a roll a d twelve for me, and we're gonna use a kind of an as an initiative roll for your little fight here. At a seven. Okay. And the guards did better than that. All right, so. Uh, the first guard is going to uh, try to huck his trident at you, and you're a very large target, so uh, <laughs> it's gonna just nail you right in the chest. Although it doesn't do that much. Um, let's say, what, what's your HP? Do you know what it is? Do you have it on your sheet in front of you? Uh, no chance. Well, let me pull up my sheet. Hold on one sec. My HP is 10. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make it 30, uh, since you are tripled in size. Uh, nice. And we're just going to go ahead and knock two points off of that. So you're going to be at 28. Um, <clears throat> another guard, uh, two other guards actually, are going to take a like a very large rope and try to kind of Star Wars uh, wrap you up uh, like they do in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, okay. And they're going to they're going to swim around you successfully, uh, and you can make a like a I guess like a Dexterity or Constitution challenge to that. What about that? a dodge? Can I do a dodge? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can dodge. All right, with good odds. Yeah. Yep. I think I have blue blue triangle. All right, I got a three. All right, you nail nice. it. Uh, they they rush to kind of wrap you up, uh, and you like are able to to just swim above them just in time, uh, and they swim past you. Uh, there are so there's six guards. Three of them have Wait, tried. Do to I do have something. legs or a tail right now? You're you're in tail mode since you're underwater. Unless you want to be in leg mode. Well, I was just wondering, like, how are they going to tie up my? How are they going to tie me up if I have a tail? Well, they can like they could like still tie the bottom of your tail and then kind of like pull it to to disorient mm. you. Gotcha. All right. Well, I dodge it anyway. But I, good to know that I'm in tail mode. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you guys are all defaulting to tail mode when you're underwater. Unless anybody wants legs for some reason. <laughs> um, okay, right. uh, so your turn, Nomeo. All right, I am going to uh, go akimbo, invisible quiet guns. <laughs> okay, cool, love it. <laughs> and uh, i just... Go ahead. There's four guards in front of you and two behind you. All right. Um, I am going to go for the two guards in front of two of the guards that are in front of me. Okay. Uh, roll a roll a d6 with good odds twice. One for okay. each. Okay. What am I trying to not get? Uh, not a one or a two. So anything besides a one or a two. Copy. The low numbers. All right, I got a ones. six. Cool. Six on the first Woo. one. Boom, headshot. And three on the second one. Six and a three. Not quite headshot, but still good. Uh, okay, <laughs> you... Had, what does this look like, you dual-wielding invisible guns? <laughs> it looks like I'm doing improv space work. <laughs> 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 Except there's, you can faintly see the red dots. Okay. Uh, like flowing right above. Uh -huh. And I say, uh, I came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum. <laughs> and I'm all out of bubble gum. And then I just make the quiet, they just make the quiet. It's just like pew, pew. <laughs> the two of the guards kind of look at each other. It's like, I don't. Is that from a movie? He said a movie, but that sounds somewhat. And then, like one of them catches That's one from in the shoulder. My like, movie. Oh. <laughs> uh, one of them catches one in the shoulder, and then the other one like looks up and looks down and sees the dot side on his chest. And then, as he looks back up, like catches another one in the chest. Um, mm -hmm. And then, 
one of the other guards who is in front, who happens to be Dean, our ghostly friend, uh, starts to like legitimately freak out and says, ah, okay, he's big, he's got ghost weapons. I told you this was true. And he swims over to his friend, he like grabs him by the shoulder. He's like, man, I told you, I told you, man, we gotta get out of here. And, uh, and he starts to like swim away. His friend is now, so two of the guards have been knocked back and taken a little bit of damage. Uh, they don't look super hurt, but they look uh, incapacitated for a moment. Uh, and the third guard in front of you is like trying to restrain Dean, who is trying to swim away. Uh, the mm -hmm. other two guards behind you are picking themselves back up uh, to launch another attack. We're going to take this opportunity and warp back to our three friends on the backside. Uh, and you hear okay. over the radio... Uh, infiltration team. Uh, Nomeo has launched their distraction, uh, his distraction, and you are clear to move. Repeat, you are clear to move. Guys, Pain. I don't, I don't feel so good. Oh, I think I vape too much, and I, I just like throw up underwater. Back up around your face. Kipchak is gonna try and like catch it so that it doesn't like raise suspicion. Um, he's gonna just try and like catch it and then I don't know, like stick okay, it under to rocks. Catch vomit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, D six would get odds. Okay. Well, I got a one, so not very well. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you do not. I'm kind of just like I'm just like moving it around in the water. A lot of it's in my beard now. Just let's just. <laughs> Uh, I don't know you if I see, can do um, it, guys. Oh, Seriously? <laughs> they made this vape really strong. I not. Uh, Marta, stop! Stop using it <laughs> if you don't feel good. <laughs> you see, uh, the the young male mer suitor uh, who is like in the process of closing the hatch notice the vomit. And he stops and uh, says, oh, "Wait, wait, what? What is that? Is that, is that vomit?" And he like, he all of a sudden like <laughs> clocks the three of you, uh, kind of hiding behind this rock, and turns to the princess and says, I, I, "I think somebody's trying to infiltrate. I, I need to warn your father. I, With no, I could get promoted gonna just, for this." Skip's just gonna, Skip's gonna, <laughs> Skip's gonna try and um, shoot his bow at him. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> or can, maybe. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't know. Hurt. I'm like, would Skip hurt. like attack him like with a bow, or would he just like? Are they distracted at all by the giant him? shouting of like movie quotes that's happening from the front of the <laughs> palace? <laughs> they uh, they definitely like uh, were kind of. They heard a, a rumble from the front. You can't quite. Uh, the sound is kind of dampened by the large palace. But they were, they kind of like looked around, but then this is the thing that has caught their attention directly. Okay. I don't know if Skip wants to kill this guy, even though he is with a woman um, that okay. Skip is now in love with because he saw her. Um, so I think Skip would just try and like swim over super fast and maybe like try and knock him out. Like, okay. Maybe with like a tail slap to the dome to induce underwater concussion or something. Like I don't think you would want to kill this guy. Okay. Uh, you uh, okay? So you like kind of swim toward him to try and smack him with your tail? Yeah, just just like knock him out. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I have pistol. Make a... I have a pistol with him. Yeah, cool. Uh, I guess roll whatever your like strength is. Okay. Oh, sick. I got a three. All right. Nice. This is the D6. Uh, you swim out, uh, and this this young mermail uh, kind of, like, takes a very uh, princely stance and looks at you, like, you know, as if he's about to make his grand stand uh, for his people mm -hmm. and, like, readies himself. And uh, mm -hmm. describe to me how you just tail bitch slap this guy. <laughs> um. It's literally going to be that, like, I think Skip is going to, like, swim up as fast as he can, and then he's going to stop really fast in front of him, and he's going to go, one second, and then he's just going to, like, and then he's just going to, like, flip around and tail with him. <laughs> okay. 
uh, you smack him across the face and he kind of like spins in the water and mm. you hear the princess oh, no <laughs> um, oh it's fine I'm I'm a much better suitor for you hi it's um no, I've been please, admiring don't hurt me. you from afar and she, my name is Skipjack I would never hurt you <laughs> she looks very afraid uh, and begins to swim uh, into what you now see is like a, it's just like a small corridor, almost like an uh -huh. escape hatch from the throne knock room. Knock her out, knock her out, uh, Skipjack. You and, gotta throw a rock. Yeah, she's gonna try to swim very quickly up into the throne room and presumably um, tell somebody you're there. Damn, damn it. Um, yeah, Skip's You gonna, have two compatriots gonna... with you, by the way. Yeah. Do you guys wanna... Brom, you just want to take your hand? I'll shoot my invisible gun. Maybe I theoretically, or I guess her fin heel, whatever that is. I'm gonna shoot my gun. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I shoot the princess. <laughs> Skipjack. Skipjack's just swimming after her, and I think he's just trying to grab her tail at the same time. Okay, hold on. I, I like Brom's trying to shoot her on the way out, though, too. Yeah. What am I rolling? Okay, so D6 with good odds. Okay. Just try, just trying to nip her heel. That's all I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah that's all we want. Four. All right. Yeah, you uh, oh, you nice. kind of just like go through the tip of her tail, and uh, she stops, and like it, her tail kind of flips up into her hand as she holds it. Ah, damn it! <laughs> I asked just you not gonna to walk hurt through... me. While she <laughs> stops, Skip's gonna just like freaking <laughs> arm grab her, just be like. I it wasn't me. I wouldn't hurt you. Um, is there like a closet or anything? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, is there any doors or anything? There's no closet. Um, okay. <laughs> Skip's just gonna like hold her like a duffel bag then and just be like, "I'm really okay. sorry about this. Like, please." Okay. Um, we're not here to hurt you, despite us just shooting your tail. You're incredibly light, by the way. I just, it might be because I'm so strong, but you just, you don't seem to weigh anything at all in my arms. She's, She's gonna sorry, try I'm to- shooting. <laughs> My tail has a hole in it! I'm and a princess! I think, it could be worse, I'm sorry. I think that gives you some great character. Um, it gives you a can story I, can I roll, to tell. Can I roll to try not to throw up again? <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to like incredibly effective in a fight. Uh, yeah, go ahead. She hold on. Uh, she's gonna try to wriggle out real fast. Uh, oh, and, well, she had very bad odds, but she succeeds. Uh, does she? She's gonna. Do I get yeah, a chance to strength? Like, do I get a chance to like strength contest with her? Or no, she just is out. Um, no, she just is out. I gave her. Very okay. bad odds, and she made it. Um, um, so she's going to slip out of your grasp and swim successfully up to the hatch of the throne room. Damn it. Uh, and so the three of you are now uh, still behind. The we'll, we'll say the the suitor is still incapacitated, uh, but you yeah. hear her shouting, uh, Father, Father, they've come! As she like swims up to the hatch of the throne room. <sighs> Damn it! And I'll give you, I'll give each of you one last thing to do before we warp back over to Nomeo. Uh, um, what can we do? Well, damn it! What do we do now? I mean, follow, she's never gonna her. call me. Follow she's her. never gonna call me. Fine. And fine. As, I, as, I, as I yell that, I try not to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my move. Um, <laughs> Just try not to vomit. Yeah, Skip's gonna stealth swim up to the top of the door and try and like peer around to see if he can see anyone standing there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Keep her. Okay. <laughs> You're just kind of dragging Marta as she's like vomiting behind you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so here's what you guys see. You guys get to the hatch. Um, and you kind of like peek through, uh, and you see uh, you see about three guards in this throne room uh, with the the Mad King who is like, you know, s aquatically pacing 
uh, back and forth <laughs> and like yeah. muttering to himself uh, as the princess goes up to him and says, Father, Father, there's, there's three infiltrators who have come. They're going to attack you. I think they're going to try to take the void. And he like grabs her and says, no, no, we can't have that. And he, uh, he like tries to clap for more guards. Um, but in the midst of that, uh, they are actively like sending guards out to the front to deal with Nomeo. And so you see one okay. of the guards disappear from the throne room and there are now two guards, the king mm -hmm. and the princess guarding the void. Uh, mm. With that, we're gonna go ahead and warp back to the front side. Um, Nomeo, you see uh, one more guard come out to the front with seven total. Uh, and as he does, he asks for like a situation report. And uh, one of them turns the, to him and says, uh, he says, I, I don't know, it, it seems to be a, a sort of self-important giant gnome of some kind, <laughs> but I don't know what he wants. And uh, Can I go ahead and give you a chance to take an action. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I hold my hand like this and I say, all right, everybody listen up. I've got this whole building rigged with invisible TNT and I'm ready to blow this fucking place to the moon. If you don't believe me, watch this. And I shoot I shoot my invisible gun in the air. It makes a very quiet sound. Okay. They all kind I'm of brace around. And then huh? they hear this like they like kind of brace as you say that. And then they hear this like <laughs> and they all kind of like look to each other expectantly. And did it misfire? Then look at that guy who I just shot in the face a few minutes ago. Do I look like I'm messing around? Um, the guy, the guy, like, kind of is the the two guys that you shot are like bleeding from their wounds, but they're okay. And they get up and they're like, I mean, he's got something, but I I, I seem kind of okay. And then they all wait. Didn't I shoot a show. guy in the head? He's a, that guy's okay. <laughs> I shot him in the head with a gun that was three times bigger than normal. <laughs> you know oh what? Oh my god! Right. Yeah, the you're right. There are two that are in the bad. That's a bad part. Of, that's a bad part of my call. That's a bad call on my part. Um, like I said, we're winging it. Um, yeah, there's there's one of them is basically dead, uh, and the other one is severely incapacitated. Uh, however, the the very quiet gunshot did not make them feel like you have the place ready to blow. Because in fact, you you don't, right? There's no explosives, no. No, so that part's a, a bluff. This is a bluff, but they um, don't know that. And I'm an actor. Let's keep in mind. So I'm that is, good at you know what? That is a good point. Uh, you have a performance skill, if I'm not mistaken, right? That's true. Oh my okay. god! Yes. Roll that for me. Uh, I think it's like on. the distract. Standby. Oh, yes, yes, my skill. Yes, yes, yes. Stand by for that. Okay. Um, my distract is a uh, d4 with good odds. Okay. And it's a five, baby. Wait, what? Oh, How did yeah. you roll a five? That's on good, the right? Oh, d4. On the, on the d4, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a five. Right, it's a d6. It's a d6. I was thinking the amount of sides that a square has. <laughs> it was okay. a d6 with good odds and i rolled a five okay cool uh yeah you nail it uh and they uh they like look to the two the one dead and one incapacitated guard uh and they like uh dean calms down and then they all like drop their weapons and look expectantly to one another uh and says one of them steps forward and says okay Okay, nobody wants to blow up the palace. We're, we're all fine here. Tell us what you want. Maybe all right. we can we're work all... out. All right, I want you to get on your radio and call the rest of the guards out here. Okay. I want everybody out of the building. Oh, okay. Uh, and he Say like slowly reaches, slowly reaches for his radio and uh, <clears throat> he says, uh, we uh we need all guards out here stat. Uh 
the <clears throat> Skip Jack, uh, Skip Marta and Bromps, do you see the the remaining two guards uh, look to each other? Um, and as the the king like looks around the room and doesn't notice you in the hatch and kind of gives a nod, okay, uh, and they swim out to the they swim out to the front. Um, and so Nomeo, now you have now you have all of the guards around you. But uh, so the two left from the throne room, but there's like there's like twenty to thirty of them now, uh, and they're all there. Mm-hmm. And you can feel the right. tension kind of building as they start to feel like maybe all together they could take you. So you have a very tentative oh, no. control of the situation. <clears throat> all right. Okay. Now. We're all here. Do you have your hypnostic? Where is the nearest movie theater? <laughs> um, we have, we have one. Uh, about a, a quarter mile swim downtown. <laughs> what uh, what is it, might I ask, that you want exactly? All will be revealed if you just come to the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> they they all like kind of slowly. You notice that they're slowly grouping together. And the one guard that's been talking to you says, uh, okay, sure, we can come to the movie theater. Uh, but first, let me ask you something. Uh, are you trying to perform for us? Do you, uh, what, what do you want us to see at the theater? There's got to be a little give and take here. Maybe we can help each other, right? Shoot him. Right. Uh, why? Why am I going to the movie theater? Give me some motivation. Well, there's a very important film that I'd like you all to see. One might say it could potentially save all of your lives. Ah, oh, I see. Um, <laughs> you, you are persuading them. Uh, and as you're trying to, uh, you see like a couple, a couple of them kind of whispering toward each other, and uh, <clears throat> the one in front like kind of looks back to his buddies and says, uh, "Okay, all right, uh, let us just grab our things." And they like looking at you very slowly, all kind of reach for their weapons on the ground. Uh, uh, uh. uh. <laughs> Uh, hey, I'm we're not all afraid friends to use here. this thing. Right. What thing is that? It doesn't look like you're holding anything. Um, roll, roll your distract skill again, but one level lower. Okay. Uh, wait. So that makes it a D4 now. Uh, it's a yes. D6? No. Sorry. Or does it make it a D6 bad odds? D- it's D- a D6 with bad odds, yes, thank you. So I need to hit a one or a two. Correct. It's a four. Oh no. Okay. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> you like hover your finger, and uh, he says, um, uh, Hey, it's all good, man. Uh, we're just going to grab our things and rush him now! And they all, like, all oh, like, God. 30 30 once swim towards you. Oh no. Uh, we're gonna hang there as we warp right back to our friends in the the secret hatch. Um, and you guys are now are peeing through. Club. Yeah, it's just it's just the king and his daughter in there, uh, as they are like kind of nervously looking around. Uh, mm-hmm. For whatever reason, they have not looked to the hatch yet. Are occupied with just the stressful situation, um, mm-hmm. and you can't quite out the conversation, but the daughter is trying to like talk to the king. Uh, what do you want to do? Mm. I mean, there's Should only two of them and three of us. I feel like Skipjack's gonna, I feel like Skip is just gonna like walk out and be like, hey. Is the king like, <laughs> is the king like a normally a good king that's been turned evil because of this radiation that's gone crazy? That's so we idea, don't want yeah. we don't want to kill the king. Okay. 
No, no. Okay. I'm just making sure. We we sure. got it. Yeah. Um, okay, so skip. Kind of. It's going to be like, hey. <laughs> 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 Like with a hand, like with a skip. Skip. No, no, no. This might work. (laughs) He's gonna like stick, you know, like a hand up, and then another hand up, and he's gonna like stick his head out the hedge and be like, "I." Darling, is is this them? You've come for the void, haven't you? You've come to take it from me. No, we're just. Uh, we, the king is uh, gonna rush towards you and try to like grab you by the collar and kind of hoist you up. Uh, oh, okay. So, I'm, is it a hatch that I have to like swim up through? I sorry, yeah. I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Then Skip's just gonna like freaking like one beat of the tail, just try and like zip up, like to dodge okay. basically. Um, yeah, make a dodge roll then. Okay, what's my dodge? I forget. Um... Okay. I got a two, and that's it's the blue triangle. So, okay, you're good. Make it okay. Great, yeah. So I'm just gonna like zip up. Uh, you dodge up, and the king kind of falls forward into the hatch, uh, and okay. now is staring at uh, Marta and Bromps, the two of you, and has a kind of shocked look on his face. And I'll give you like like hey. a couple seconds. Another action. Is there a Mrs. King? <laughs> uh, not anymore. And he uh, <laughs> he's gonna try to now grab you, Marta. <laughs> I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna as he gr- try, tries to grab me, I'm gonna use my amulet of aging um, to try to become a, a beautiful young Marta. Um, okay. And kind of try to like transform like in front of him to kind of like maybe make him go more mad or p- potentially fall in love with me. Mm, there okay. you go. Both are good. I like where you're headed. Uh, yeah, you successfully transform. Uh, you use the minimum man- amount of charge, and you become young and beautiful again. Uh, and this more like scares the king than anything. Uh, he's like just kind of shocked at what happens, and so he like lets go and flies like swims backward. Uh, mm-hmm. And is now kind of like he's got his back against the void, like looking at the three of you. Uh, as mm-hmm. well, you're still in the hatch. If you want to swim out, you can. But uh, Skip, you are in the room, and he is like yeah. got his back against he's it, got, trying to protect. He's got hands what up. You he's like, "Hey, I'm not here to hurt you, um, or I, I would like to talk more to your beautiful daughter. I am." a prince of my own land, uh, but no! that's beside the point right now. Um, it's, w- we're cool. Are you cool? Most certainly not. You're here to take my void. I know it. Mm. Oh, that void? What's a void? Oh, that... What's a void? Oh, that... What is, is that a, a void? void? I think we're all avoiding something in our hearts, usually, <laughs> just as people. Like, you know, we tend to uh, put up walls and defenses of madness or, or anger, okay. and we're all just avoiding how we feel. <laughs> you, uh, as you're saying this, you hear uh, what sounds like a bunch of whispers, like emit from the void, and you can't understand mm-hmm. what the whispers are saying. Uh, are but we the king. At it? Like are yeah, we, you're. Is it like a ball, like that we're just like staring at, or like what are what? Yeah, are, what you're. Are we uh, here? So if you look at your map in the bottom right, you are at the very top, so kind of like okay. behind this thing, um, and the king has got his back up against it, and you hear these whispers, and you can't understand them, but the king seems to be able to understand the whispers, uh, okay. and he, he like reacts very severely to this. And then he slowly looks back to the three of you and says, my, my son, my son who has not returned, you, you killed him and you ate him? No. And he like, uh, the fish? He the called fish? for a guard. Oh no, did you we eat his fish my son? son? The fish? Oh, what no. did he look like? He was, he was handsome and powerful and an excellent 
excellent shapeshifter. Oh, no. uh, and you kind of know <laughs> that this was the person who impersonated Big Kyle when you initially oh. found. Uh, oh. Uh, Whoa. When you initially found the, uh, the void or the the mer place. Whoa. Okay. In a con. Well, long con. Uh, Big and Kyle. he, yeah, he pulls out a. He like swims around to the front. Uh, and immediately swims back with like a very big gold shiny trident which has some like magical energy emitting from it and he says uh, I cannot give him back but I can protect my void and avenge him and he is gonna just like kind of cast a spell at he's gonna cast a spell at you Skip and just nail you uh, right in the chest Ooh. And you're gonna take a hefty four. Um, I don't know how much. I think you have four? like. I have ten total. Pain? Okay, you have ten total. I have, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you're gonna take a hefty so, four and get knocked back. Go ahead. Yeah. Can I retaliate? Uh, yeah. Skip doesn't want to hurt this guy. I also have a trident. Um. Skip's gonna try and throw it so that like he catches his hand in between two of the prongs just to kind of like pin him against a wall. Like or just okay. pin him in general. Um Sure, we'll say there's so like a Skip's pillar. Just gonna oh fuck. This isn't my smartest idea. This is um a risky because I'm not proficient with this trident. Um mm-hmm. but little what does it say? It says roll level underwater plus plus damage against sea creatures or plus roll level underwater. So I would so say. So does that mean I could roll, roll it lever. with better roll it better with better odds? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Since you're not trying to damage. So I'm trying to get a one. Uh yeah. I'm trying to hit a one. Okay. Okay. Please. I got a three. Okay, so all right, you whiff. Just gonna whiff it. Just gonna whiff it. All right, um, Bromster Marta, do you want to do anything? I don't want to hurt the guy, but you know, kind of want to get the power back in our favor if possible. Um, okay. Maybe I can like train the gun on him. Hmm. Um, oh, and uh, you froze. Can you repeat that? Yeah, Train the gun I've on been him. cutting out the past 10 okay. or so minutes. Um, oh, no. Yeah, I'd like to train the gun on him and say, like, I shot your daughter in the in the foot. I'm just saying, you know, oh, cool here. Let's, let's, let's talk more so than uh, hurt. I wish okay. I had a better quippy thing. No, I like this. Uh, um, roll like a... Either either an intelligence, wisdom, or chari- I guess charisma. Um, um, so roll for charisma. Sorry, it's been a uh, What am I rolling here? Uh, which? Uh, here I can check where I have your sheet. If I have my sheet also, Chris. Uh, this is a wow D twenty. It's brown. The brown. Oh, that's a D twelve. So that's a that's a risky one. If you want to roll, if your intelligence or wisdom is higher, I'll let you take that. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it is. Uh, maybe wisdom. Uh, let's okay. Wisdom. Instead of ten, so I gotta roll that. You're trying to that's instill some wisdom in the king. <laughs> sure. Just trying to be like, listen, man. Well, the point I want to make is like, look, your void is actually hurting your constituents and your people. So consider that you want to kill the void also, maybe. Okay. Um, or ca- you know, capture it, whatever. It's not good. Mm-hmm. You're being a bad guy. I rolled a four. Okay, so I. Uh, mm-hmm. What were you? What was the color and shape? It is on a red sheet? triangle. Okay, so that's a no good. Um, that's, a, that's a bad. He uh, he says the void is all I have left, uh, and he's gonna try to uh, cast another magical spell at you, Bromst, and he's going to hit you as well Uh-oh. for a hefty oh, four. God. Come on, man. Can I block or... <laughs> He's gonna beam you. Uh, and you get 
also knocked back against this wall. Uh, Marta. All right, enough enough chit chat. I'm gonna uh, the roof the ceiling is compromised, right? I'm gonna try to shoot my yeah. gun and like shoot a rock and like knock him on the head to like you know spin him back okay. into reality for a second. Okay. Oh, okay. I forgot about the ceiling. So I'm just gonna uh, try to shoot. What should I roll yeah. for that? Dex, D6 Dex, with good odds. Or D6. A six. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yeah, you you nail the uh, nail the roof, and a brick drops directly on his head. And since you rolled a, a cool six, uh, we're gonna say it like all but knocks him out. Uh, so he doesn't come to oh. his senses, but he does become quite incapacitated for a moment. When this okay. happens. Uh, and we're going to use this opportunity to uh, wrap up here for the evening. But uh, when this happens, uh, the king is like out cold for a second. The princess emits a scream, uh, and you notice the void begin to vibrate. And you hear those same whispers that you cannot understand, but you do get this sense that like whatever was talking to the king is quite angry that, uh, uh -oh. that you have now just knocked out its vessel. Beast ball, um, beast ball. You know, can I so, can I beast ball it? Uh, yes, but hold on. Before that happens, uh, we're gonna warp right back to Nomeo <coughs> for a second. Oh no. Um, Nomeo, you have been bum rushed by about thirty different guards. Um, mm. so I'm gonna give you a few choices here. Uh, you can either try to use your large size to like do something about them uh you see also merlin on the side who is like signaling to you that he could re-shrink you if you wanted to uh to like maybe try and dodge it uh or if you can come up with a different you know or if you have another thing you want to do oh his name's merlin i have like that realization <laughs> back in the throne room <laughs> merlin <laughs> Oh my Merlin, God. and I turn to like props and skipjack. Merlin, that oh makes way God. more sense. It's not just a random wizard name. Merlin. The princess is like, oh, what <laughs> is going on? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my plan is, yeah, let's take the ray off the tripod and. Switch it to shrink mode, but don't shrink me. Uh, I want Merlin to just scatter shot shrink <laughs> all of the guards. Yeah, baby. Pray and pray. Okay. Let's go. I like this. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, Merlin is like signaling to. He's like, Nobio, do you want me to shrink you? I'm I'm ready. Merlin, don't shrink me. Pull that ray off the tripod, and I want you to just go crazy on these cars dude <laughs> he like pulls it out <clears throat> nomeo i've been watching your movies and i think you said this once say hello to my little friend and he just like <laughs> lets this thing rip uh oh my God. and it starts to like kind of get out of control um and i'm just gonna make a bunch of rolls real fast to see how he does okay okay all right He's he's done quite well. So we're going to say he just like yeah, just like lets this thing rip. Uh and all the guards as they're swimming to you, like you see them one by one start to <laughs> and as they do, they kind of like start to just plink off your chest. Um, and we'll say he gets probably like I I would say like 3 fourths of them. Uh, enough so that the ones that are still bum wrenching you are are not strong enough to uh, to incapacitate you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, and Merlin lets out a just a a very excited like. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, um, Merlin. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> uh, I look at the guards who haven't shrunk, and I say, "There's a lot more where that came from, suckas." <laughs> They all kind of like 
they all kind of like look at each other and they're shrunk friends. Uh, and we're going to say that they go ahead and they go ahead and run away in fear. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, no, we all. Do you, uh, do you want to, I mean, I don't want to suggest to you, but do you want to join your compatriots or do you want to uh, do, assuming that you don't know what's going on in the throne room? Um. Yeah, I think either way, I would I would try to like run. Did did the guards that ran away run back into the into the building? Um, a Did few of them do. Uh, they kind of they all scatter in different directions, so a few of them do end up going back into the building. Uh, but uh, you get the sense that they're not. They are kind of abandoning their posts. So even if they're inside of the building, they're probably not going to bother to fight you. Um, okay, they might cool. be going back to then, yeah, I, for... I'm gonna run I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna say Merlin come with and bring the Ray we uh, might need it aye, aye. and he follows you um, okay so you guys uh, will say you are you still massive when you arrive in the th- yeah I'm, the throne still, room? I'm still three times the size <laughs> okay yes. uh, you can't you can't quite fit in the door if that's the case. So do you are you like swimming over the top and like kind of peeking through the roof or? Oh yeah, wait, is there a compromised. hole? Is there a hole now yeah. in, the, in the ceiling from yeah. where Marta shot the rock? Uh, it's small enough for you to like look through, and it's compromised enough that you feel <clears throat> like you could just kind of scoop it out if you wanted to. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna scoop my way through the ceiling. Okay, uh, you scoop your way through the ceiling and you see uh, the unconscious king, the very scared princess, and your three compatriots uh, sitting there in the throne room as this void is starting to vibrate very violently. Um, <clears throat> Guys, you won't believe this. There's no, a no. movie theater like a half a block away. <laughs> oh, Ooh. It's great for you. Cool. We could go watch the movie. We could go watch Nomeo 2 and 3. The movie? Yeah, maybe, maybe after. Maybe after this. You uh, hear on the are radio. Are you guys busy? Yes. We heard a lot yes. of commotion. How is the infiltration? Do you have the void contained? Beastball. Uh, Skip's going to... Wait, can he shrink the void? Or should I just beastball it? You can try. I don't know if that's gonna work though. Um, yeah, I'll just throw the beast ball. What if we enlarge? What if we enlarge the beast ball? We I don't should know. Probably do one try first anything? to see what happens. We should probably try it, and then we can like. Yeah. True. True. Reassess if it doesn't. Yeah, Skip's just gonna. Skip doesn't have that much uh, foresight. He's just gonna throw it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. <laughs> um, Skip, you throw uh, you throw the beast ball. Uh, roll a roll a d twelve and just tell me what number you get. I got a nine. Okay, you uh, throw the beast ball, and it uh, it hits the void, and uh, it does in fact like absorb the entire void into it for a moment, and as it like mm. kind of sinks slowly to the ground. It is vibrating, as you see. <laughs> um, but as it is, like some like kind of black smoky energy is like flowing out from the ball, uh, and then you guys start to feel something weird. You all start to feel like a gravitational pull uh, oh, from no. the ball uh, pull at all of you. Everybody, make oh, a God. strength check for me. Okay. I got a six. I got a one. Okay. Um, what is my... Wait, but does my is my strength at all increased by the fact that I'm three times bigger? Yeah, you know what? That makes sense. So go ahead and roll two more times and tell me the best number. Two. <laughs> oh, God. Five. Woo. All right. Oh, no. What's, a br- what's the brown... 12? Uh, D12, yeah. And that's with bad odds? Or good uh, odds? Bad, bad odds, yeah. Just okay. tell me the number that you get. Okay. Four. Okay. And Bromst? I got a one. Okay. 
All right. And I get so a, here's what happened. My strength is a my strength is a d6, and I rolled a six. Okay. Yeah. So you nailed it perfectly. All right. Uh, and Marta got a four out of twelve, and Nomio got a five out of six. Correct. Correct. Okay. So here's what happens. Uh, the ball then like breaks open, and the void launches back to its size and its place. Dang uh, it. Bromst, you feel the pull of the void very powerfully. Uh, and as you like, kind of like try to brace yourself, you do so unsuccessfully. And you look to your three friends as you are sucked into the void. Oh my um, God. Marta, you uh, are slowly, you are like doing a slightly better job of bracing yourself, uh, but you are being pulled as well. And you also get sucked into the void. <gasps> Um, oh no! Skip and Nomeo, you successfully find things to hold on to, uh, and delay your s being sucked into the void for a moment. Uh, but you, the pull is constant and unceasing. Uh, okay. And so, the two of you look to each other to see that your mm -hmm. two friends have disappeared into the void, uh, and get the sense that. At some, unless this pull stops, that you are in fact at some point going to get sucked in. Um, okay. And uh, you hear on the radio, uh, Zord say, "Infiltration team, we need an update. Are you there?" And with that, we are going to go ahead and end this episode, oh my and we'll find out Cliff what happens inside the void you. next time. Oh Cliffhanger. Yeah, Make sure to come back as things Quick are going to get cyber. spicy. And I would like to Real uh, note, yeah, for anybody watching, <laughs> stakes are going to be high next time. Uh -oh. People might die. We might die. So make sure and come uh -oh. by. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Death. Death. <laughs> Death. Hey. Death. Yay. Who's, on, who's online that we could raid? Let's... <laughs> find out we got um, <clears throat> everyone's oh, playing oh, cyberpunk it looks like Cyber yellow spoon right. rolls on cyberpunk's playing them uh, and jay cheese <laughs> is playing minecraft it's me, I'm alex. let's do it's me i'm alex our good friend oh they are no longer online uh -oh. yeah, i was gonna say i don't see it on my um oh we got show and tell uh, live they're playing Send them over us. to show and tell live. Playing Among Us. Yeah, why not? They kicked my ass at Quiplash on. Uh, oh God. So, <laughs> hey. So let's, let's kick their it. ass right now. Let's kick their ass at Among Us right now. Um. Cool. I'm gonna raid show and tell live. Awesome. Uh, don't, don't. Awesome. GGs, everybody. That was a great app. Good and thanks for joining it everyone. Works, guys. Great job. The hour of planning really paid off. A rock yeah. solid plan. <laughs> yes. It wouldn't happen like that otherwise, so be proud. Um maybe tune in Sunday for something? Yeah. Maybe. Yes, potentially. T B D. Possibly. ID There may also be some sort of midday. Saturday Among Us stream hosted by Aiden. I'm not sure if it is going to be streamed yet, but I may have just leaked that to the six Leap. people who are still watching right now. But, uh, Hell yeah. TBD on, there may be a, a Among Us stream on Saturday afternoon with um, the new proximity voice mod that looks pretty interesting. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Fun. Very cool. Uh, sweet. Well, so you see you guys. Say hi to show and tell so live for us. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. We're on the Good nephew night. network. I didn't realize this. So I did, did we find?